Welcome to another edition of Two Minute Tuesdays. For this week, let's talk about product usage. Once you've taken two full inventory counts, as well as kept record of your received product between those counts, you'll be able to calculate your usage. As a definition, usage is the amount of a product or category of products that you're depleting from stock between any two inventory counts. In other words, the amount of each item that was used between these two inventories. Before we jump into actually how to calculate your usage, it's important to understand what makes up one inventory cycle or inventory period. Your first count is the starting inventory and your second count is the ending inventory, the beginning and end of your inventory cycle. Having an end and a beginning will allow you to determine your usage. Since inventory and usage are rolling, ever-evolving numbers, the ending inventory for this cycle will become the starting inventory for your next cycle, and so on. On your inventory spreadsheet, create the new sheet or tab with the following columns. Product name, unit size, starting inventory, received inventory, and ending inventory. Once that's all lined up, just fill in the necessary info and follow this inventory usage formula to find your product usage for this inventory period. Take your starting inventory, add any received product from deliveries or transfers, subtract your ending inventory for this period, and the remaining value will represent your usage for this inventory cycle. This usage number is one of the most important elements in running a successful restaurant. As you complete more inventory cycles, you'll start to see some trends in your product usage that can help you make smarter ordering decisions. You'll be able to tell how much product you go through in a week versus how much you're sitting on in-house. Unless you're a really cash-rich bar, if you're sitting on more than three weeks of inventory in-house, you should probably think about slowing down your spending a bit to open up the business's cash flow. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to calculate usage at your restaurant and why it's vital to your success. Now just repeat what we talked about here on a regular basis and you'll be well on your way to running a more profitable restaurant. Visit us soon at BevSpot.com for tons of free resources and blog posts that can help you run a more profitable restaurant. In the meantime, have a great day and we'll see you next week for another Two Minute Tuesday.